Hey guys, it's Shondell of Shondell's Decor, AKA your favorite crafter. And today we will be unboxing the mint green easy press two matches my new maker don't mind my guys and the mint green bright pad so today's video is sponsored by cricket thank you cricket so i'm going to show you taking both of these items out of the box how to set them up how to do our first project and with the um easy press the first project comes in the box, so you don't need the um, design space to actually do it. But I'm also going to show you how to go in design space, choose your design, cut it out on the material that you need, which is iron-on vinyl or either iron-on glitter vinyl, whichever one you choose. I'm going to use both, how to put it on the t-shirt and finish it out. So also at the end, I show you how to press on an iron-on patch, which is this. See this? We're going to do that. and. Here's the design that we're going to do. So if you're ready, let's go. So here we go. This is the Easy Press 2, the nine by nine inches. So this is the package that comes in it. So we're gonna open this and see what we get. So I have the original heat press. This is my first heat press two. Oh, look at that. So it comes with our shape for our first cut and the book, the manual, and this will definitely help you with uh, temperature settings. As you can see, it already comes in the bag. And this is the plate that you would rest it in while it's hot. So we're just gonna open that up, then we'll register our machine, and then start the first cut. Let me just take it out of the plastic. And these are good to keep, um, put them in after each use, after it's cooled down. Um, basically, it's like a dust bag. Because uh, having these things out, they will collect dust. See the plug. Regular plug, just plug it in. So now we'll take this over to the screen to register that machine. I also am going to use the bright pad. So these are all uh, same color, mint green. So we're going to open up this box. stuff from the tree is in here so, um, I usually do keep my boxes but for these nails this seems like it's going to be a little bit too open So this is a nine and a half by 11 inch bright pad. The screen, I love when everything matches. So we use this to um, light up your project so that you can see what you're weeding. So we'll use it. Um,
when I make the t-shirt. So it has the uh, instruction book as well. Your warranty. I don't know why I was pressing the power button when I didn't even plug it in or charge it. So we're gonna plug this in, go on over and register our heat press and start our first project. And it's going to be that uh, Cricut little logo that they sent us. We're gonna add that to a shirt. So let's go on over and do that. Okay guys, so we also have the matte Cricut scent. So this is the mat you use with the easy press to put on the bottom. It actually ha helps to hold in the heat and give you kind of a base to press your project on. Now we're gonna turn it on. This is to set the temperature. We want 290, I had it set already. And now it's going to warm up. It was warming up earlier, so mine started a little higher than usual. And once it's set to where we need it, we can start our project. So you can see from here that it's going up. Very hot, hotter than the uh, Easy Press 1. That's the difference. And the hotter it is, the better your uh, design will hold when you're finished. So we're using this. You heard a beep, it's ready. So we're going to just smooth this out have it warm so as you can see the instructions also tell you what to do set time and temperature get prepped preheat base material position the press flip and repeat so we're going to heat the back as well so let's go ahead and heat this up again a little more Put it where we want it, which is centered. Hold it down. When you press that start button, it counts down for how long you need to hold it on top of the project. I know a lot of people ask, do you have to press it down? And no. It does not require like a bunch of strength to hold it down. Just hold it on top of the um, decal. Then they said to flip and do it again. I don't know why it's like I'm ironing and I always move this hand. Kind of move it around. Okay, put back on the base, flip it over. So now you're going to test a corner. It's still a little warm. So you peel it to see if it's stuck and it did. And that's the design here. So it'll be the same thing when making t-shirts, onesies, things like that. So I'm gonna show you a project where we cut something from design space and we use the bright pad and then again use the easy press too. Okay, so now we're in design space and I chose this design. I'm gonna show you how I found it and how I separated the scissors and the button because I want them to be two different colors. So when you go into design space and you're on the mat to design, go to images. I typed in craft up here. You see that craft? And then the file is right here. Insert image. So this is how it comes. Everything will be cut in one color. So I'm going to show you how I separate it. I used the welding feature and slicing feature. So I'll make it a little bit larger. Now because of this shape, we don't have a shape here. 
that can accommodate the scissors to slice it out. So I'm going to use two circles. So this is what we do. Go back to here. Now the first circle I'm going to cover right here. Make a duplicate of that circle and cover the rest. See? Now that covers the design. So then we're going to move our file down. Highlight these two. Weld it. So now it's the shape we need to cut out the scissors and the buttons. So now you bring this back up here. Make sure it's not touching the word room. Highlight all of that together and go to slice down here. Now slice basically cut it out. So you move this over. We don't need that. We don't need this. So now it's separated. See what I did? I chopped off a little piece of this here. So we're going to go back and I'll show you what to do. You can just undo until you get all the way to the two circles. And just move it down just a little bit so you're not cutting that off. See? Right there. Do it again. Highlight everything. Click on slice. And there you go. Take that out. We don't need it. We don't need it. So now the scissors and the button is separate. And I changed the color to gold. And that's how I did that. So see I have it up here. And now two of them. We could just take this out. That was just for demonstration because I had it done already. Always save your projects. We'll save this as craft room. Save. Now you're going to group all of this together. Highlight everything. Group. And then you choose the size that you would like. So um, I'm thinking a little smaller. The piece I have to cut is a little bit smaller. It's just about six inches in height. So that's what I'm focused on right here. Right there. So now you're going to send to the Cricut. So you click on make it at the top. Now whenever you're doing any type of iron on, always mirror your image right here. So now it's going to cut mirrored, mirror this one as well, so that when you flip it over and iron it on the shirt, it'll be the correct way. So you press continue. Now I'm going to do the words in regular iron-on vinyl, and the scissors I'm going to do in a glitter iron-on vinyl. So this is what you do right here. You're going to choose iron-on as your setting. Now when you get to the second one, you just hit this drop down button and choose the glitter iron on. Now I have all of these saved to my favorites. Up here, you browse material if you want to see new material. Now this is on a uh, Cricut Maker. If you're using the Cricut Explore Air or Air 2, they have the dial on the machine and you can change the custom settings and then it'll come up on the screen for you to choose that setting. So let's go back. We're cutting this one, and that is the iron-on. Now we're going to send it to the machine so we can cut it. So here we go. Load it in. Remember when you're loading, you're putting the Cricut underneath these two white tabs here. Press the blinking button to load. Once it's loaded, then the start button will blink. So you press that. And it'll cut. Okay, so the cut is complete, and you just peel it off. And this is the bright pad I have here. So these two tools is what I use when I'm weeding. This is to um, peel it up, and because I have nails, I use this just to pick up some of the pieces and make my life a little bit easier. But this also works when you're using paper just to pick up small pieces, you use this tool. 
So the bright pad, now you turn it on and here's the light. Cause you see, you see faintly where the pieces are that you need to weed. You can turn the light up. See that? And now that helps you see where you need to peel and cut. So now, not cut, and weed. So we're going to get a small piece. Now, like I told you, I started to grow my nails. So it takes me a little while for little pieces. So don't get too impatient with me. So I'm gonna peel it and come back. Okay, I'm back. So I got the little piece off, just a little tab here. You have to peel off and start peeling. Now this we're going to do very slowly this tool you use to peel these pieces so what I do is I peel a little piece up then I use that to just grab it and pick it up so if you want to just peel it see that little piece and you can pick it up if it's smaller I would have a problem with my nails so that's when I use that tool i'll just drop this piece here so what i do i just stick it on here because i can cut those little pieces now the f Now we have the little inside of the A. Now for the next part, we're peeling off the actual letter. We're not leaving the letter like the top pieces. So now see, if you move it around a little, you can kind of see better. Can you see it? We lay it down here. Let me move it closer so you can kind of see. I don't know if you guys can see it. See all the lines? So now we have to weed that out. So each part, when you peel off the A, you're leaving that little middle piece. So if you have a, a design that's very intricate, oh, you're gonna take some time to weed all those little pieces out.
we'll just raise it up to the light and you can see right here. Where the S. All right, it laid back down, hold on. There we go. Raise it up and you see it right here. All right, and we're done with that piece. So where I stuck all of that stuff, I will just clip that off so that I don't end up by mistake leaning it on the shirt. So you see, we mirrored it and cut it backwards so that when you turn it over and put it on the shirt now, it's correct. So now we're adding the glitter iron on shiny side down facing down and don't forget when you put it in to change the setting to glitter iron on so the glitter is done cutting so we're going to peel it off now as you can see here design takes up this much space here. So I will cut off the excess. And then bring the bright pad back in. So you see the print here. So we're going to peel it up just like the other one. I had a little piece here. The same way we did it, peel the large pieces off. And then you can put it down on the bright pad. I'll bring it closer to you to kind of show you. So it's only the little, see that little piece that had to come out? You can use this to clip it and take it out. The next one, see, when you use the bright pad, it just highlights where it needs to come off. So it's these four little pieces. The uh, glitter vinyl is much thicker. So you could use that to peel it off. I'll just take them off. That beeping was the heat press. I already started heating it up and it's ready to go. See? Now, sorry, that big circle here for the scissors has to go as well. And that's ready. So now we can remove the bright pad you're going to bring in your mat. Put this on the side. Whatever you're putting it on, I just found a t-shirt that I purchased from Michael's. I'm gonna put it on here. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is iron out, <coughs> iron that shirt. Hold on, I plugged out the heat press to bring it closer. Turn it back on. So it's still at the point that it was. And just iron this out. Not only are you ironing it, it's heating up. 
So what I've seen people to do just to assure that it's um, straight, they would kind of maybe fold it so you know where the straight line is, like something like that. And you can use that as your base like if you want it to just line it up against there. But for this shirt, I want it to be a little higher. So somewhere here, like right below where the V-neck on the opposite side is. So I'm gonna heat it up again. We're going to place the wording on the shirt. I just wanna pop this up just to make sure it's straight. And it's in the center. So we put that here. Wait, hold on one second. I just realized there is a piece that I did not read. So now, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I, I really wasn't paying attention. I didn't do the D. See that? That was still on there. Mm. Well, we all miss it, make mistakes. So iron it again, just to keep it hot. Guys, listen, I'm just mistake central today, but it's fine. It just means we're human. Just hopefully you catch it before you put it down like I did. Okay, so let's double check. Make sure all of the pieces that I needed to weed are gone. It is. So we put it down. Take the heat press, put it on and start we're not gonna do the full 30 seconds because it's gonna go on top of it again when we have to put our scissors and our buttons so we'll do like half of that get it to 15. just about there it's still stuck but what i'm going to do I'm gonna put this here. But the thing is, I don't have those little carrier sheets that they use, so I'm gonna put this right back over it. Because you cannot peel it off and then put the heat press on it. So, here we go, hold it down. Oh, don't forget start. As you guys can tell, unboxing, this is definitely not my thing, but it's something that you could do. So even if you're a paper crafter, this is not difficult. Like any project, the first time, definitely gonna be a little hard, but after that, you're good. Cause now, after I make this shirt and wear it everywhere I go, I'm gonna wanna make more. So for the whole summer, I'll be making my own shirts. And then we take it off. So now, let it cool for two seconds. You don't wanna burn your fingers. So let's peel and see. Same with the glitter. See, I left a little dot on there. There we go, look at that. Craft room is calling and I must go. So there we have our t-shirt.